Hi, I'm Markia. Want to hear something scary? The Doll and the Wall. Evan couldn't sleep because of the faint scratching noise coming from his bedroom wall. It just wouldn't stop. He remembered his parents asking the realtor why the house's price was so low, and she told them it was because of complaints about settling noises in the walls at night. Evan's parents had laughed, saying they were all deep sleepers, but also when they'd moved in, none of them had heard anything. It had been almost a full year since then and not a sound heard. Until tonight. That following morning, Evan told his parents about the noises in the wall. They checked, but nothing was amiss. Plus, they had slept soundly all last night. That next night, Evan once again heard the slow, persistent scratching. Except this time, it was louder. He put his ear against his bedroom wall to see if he could make out what it was, but when he did that, it suddenly stopped. Evan crawled back into his bed and was almost asleep when once again, something began scraping inside his wall, this time more urgent and much, much louder. He tried to tell his parents about the noise, but they were already sound asleep. His mother groggily told him to put on headphones and go to bed, and they would figure it out in the morning. Evan put on his headphones and played some relaxing music. To zone out even further, he grabbed a flashlight and curled up under the covers with his favorite manga. Eventually, he fell asleep. Suddenly, Evan startled awake, but he had no idea why. His playlist was over and everything was quiet. The scratching noise was gone. He looked over at the wall. There was a hole in it. Evan carefully got out of bed, certain he would step on rats or some other vermin, but his room was empty. He inched closer to the hole in the wall and looked inside. It was dark in there. What little he could see, there seemed to be nothing there, no signs of anything except more wall. He needed more light to see inside. Turning back to his bed to get his flashlight, Evan pulled back his covers and there was a large doll in his bed. Recoiling in horror, Evan stared at the thing staring right back at him. His heart thundered in his chest. He was scared out of his mind. How did it get there? Had it been there while he slept? The doll's cracked porcelain face was dirty and it had too wide of a grin. Staring right at him was one eye that looked especially sinister while the other was hollowed out. Its clothes were in tatters and any color had faded long ago. His heart was finally calming down now. It was just a doll after all. And Evan wondered if his parents were playing a prank on him. Not funny, he muttered to himself. And just as he spoke, the doll sat up right in his bed and began to laugh. Evan shoved the doll off his bed and ran for the door. But before he could reach it, the doll launched itself off the ground and onto his back. Tiny, cracked porcelain hands dug into the flesh of his neck. The doll kept laughing as it tried to reach around and scratch out his eyes. Evan tried to pull the doll off himself, but it was somehow too strong. A tiny doll hand gashed him just above his eye and blood rushed into it, half blinding him. Evan screamed and not knowing what else to do, threw himself backward onto the ground, hearing a satisfying crack come from the doll when he hit the ground. He quickly sprung up and looked back at the doll on the floor. It was smashed, but still laughing as it tried to move. Evan ran out of his room and towards his parents' bedroom for help. But as he passed the stairs, he suddenly heard an unearthly voice behind him. Where's my doll? Evan turned to see a sickly green glowing girl, just a few years younger than him, with dead black eyes and rotten teeth. As the spectral horror moved closer, Evan desperately backed away from it. So desperately, he forgot about the stairs behind him and fell all the way down. As he lay bleeding at the bottom of the stairwell, he felt a cold hand grab his while another gently stroked his hair. Evan looked up into her dead face, heard the voice of the little dead girl. You're much better than my dirty old doll. I think I'll keep you forever and ever. The next morning, Evan's parents could find no sign of their son, just a creepy old doll in his bed wearing his pajamas. 
The hole in the wall was gone as well. It was as if there had never been a hole there to begin with, but inside that wall set the skeletal remains of a long dead girl and her new friend, Evan. The boy who slowly died as his parents' screams drowned out his last scratching pleas for rescue from inside the wall.